HDI is on the move. The United States Air Force calls them remotely piloted aircraft, but most people know them as drones. No longer just eyes in the sky, they're taking the pilot out of the cockpit and revolutionizing warfare by allowing us to see and kill from half a world away. We can easily make out people from five, six miles away. You can put a weapon through a window-sized opening with ease. Some small enough to fit in a soldier's backpack, others the size of manned planes. These aerial robots are engineered for endurance and efficiency. Planes can fly longer, they can pull more Gs, they can be more precise when they bomb if a human is not in the cockpit. Now, with unprecedented access to drone scientists, engineers, and pilots, NOVA examines the evolution of drone technology from the first prototypes built from scratch. This is one of two small UAVs built in my garage. Everything was built with the lowest possible technology. To the sophistication of the military's modern fleet. It's essentially the brains of the aircraft. It gives us the ability to communicate, uh, control, keep link with the aircraft, and navigate it. Moving around inside the northwest corner of the compound. Three, two, one. The government claims drones have been so successful, they have helped to eliminate 70% of Al-Qaeda's top leadership. But the technology may come at the cost of innocent civilians. We know fairly well how many strikes are occurring. What we don't know is who the targets were, or whether they were actually eliminated. I speak out on behalf of the rule of law. You are making us less safe by killing so many innocent people. And drones may be vulnerable in other critical ways. Uh-oh. Their self-diagnosis isn't all that smart. And by the time they have a problem, it's too late. You lose the link, and you're gone. The aircraft landed in an area it shouldn't have landed in. And that's about all I'm going to say. Will drones ever be able to think for themselves and one day replace the most advanced manned planes? We look at breakthroughs leading us into the future. Historically, you look at when the Wright brothers first flew, 100 years later, we were actively flying remotely piloted aircraft. In terms of acrobatics, I think it'll be hard to beat what a robot can do. And they're not just for hunting our enemies. It started out as a, a toy for my dogs to chase. Increasingly used to patrol our borders, are drones becoming the new tool of choice for police, fire, and other domestic agencies? This is the next generation of surveillance. For the first time, we actually have permission to show the basic capabilities. The worry is that in two or three years, we'll have 30,000 drones crisscrossing the sky, accumulating all this information. It's a game changer, but it's not just an American revolution. There are more than 55 other countries right now that are building, buying, or using military robotics, particularly in the air. Now, enter a new chapter in aviation history as NOVA takes you inside the rise of the drones.